Hey guys, M2 Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series number, what number is this? This is number 95. This is the Steel Core Troopers, because they can't call them Steel Brigades, uh, because Valiverse Action Force has the Steel Brigade name. Um, so I will do a comparison with the Action Force Steel Brigade figure, but here we have the Steel Core. Lots of crap going on with these this two pack. There's so many accessories, some really cool jet packs. We got some awesome helmet head sculpts, and we have two figures that, let's be honest, they're fairly mediocre at best. Unfortunate. Well, the female figure is pretty good. I would say the male figure um, is definitely not uh, Hasbro's best in terms of GI Joe classified series. But there's so much going on in this two pack. Like it's it's. It's worth picking up for all the stuff that you're going to get. It's just unfortunately, you know, the Steel Core figures themselves uh, leave a little bit to be desired. Well, the male figure, the female figure, again, is, is, is really nice. But anyway, looking at the package, we get this awesome look here with, you know, the Statue of Liberty there. Uh, we see a Televiper with a Trouble Bubble. So I, I'm, I'm not going to do a lot of comparisons with G.I. Joe figures. You know, I do have uh, the Televiper here with the Steel Brigade, and you can see the height difference. Like, this dude is tiny. Tiny, like small, small, and like if I have a commando, uh, snake eye is like he's he's tiny. These guys are little. They're little, little, little guys. Um, they use like the beachhead uh, upper body and then the snake eyes lower body. Like so, it's kind of it's kind of weird. It makes for a little bit of a shorter figure. You know, it's an army builder. We have two different helmets. You can build out a lot and have your own uh, steel core and, and things like that. But he's, he's on the short side. And I know a lot of people I've seen some comments where um, it's, it's, it, it takes it out. Like they don't want, they don't want to get the steel brigade two pack because of that. Is it a problem? I don't think it's terrible, but he definitely is small uh, compared to others. But anyway, he, it, again, this two pack is just packed and loaded with stuff so looking at the back you see everything that they come with so because there's two figures in the pack we get essentially two of everything we have two jet packs we have an a, an extra helmet for each of them because the female and the male bodies each have a different helmet so um, obviously the female ones are a little bit smaller so each one has a separate a second helmet we get three like large uh caliber guns rifles i would say uh, so we have this one here. We'll go through each accessory actually one by one. So we have this one here. It looks pretty good. All black paint with a little bit of green. Not too bad. It does have a removable magazine, as you can see there, uh, which is nice. We have this one here, which is pretty good. Uh, this one, same thing, has the same removable uh, magazine. These three guns have the, use the same magazine. We get a separate one for each one. Um, and then here we have... This next one, and this looks pretty good. Again, each one has a little bit of green on there. Again, removable uh, magazine there. These look pretty good. Um, and then each one also has a handgun, which holsters on their right leg. So we get two of these there. Again, each one holsters on the right leg. Um, and then each one has a knife, which uh, sheaths right there in the front on their vest. So black paint, nice silver for the blade there. Um, and then come the slew of uh, accessories. So we have here, we have a silencer or suppressor. Um, and I think this is the only one that it comes with because it looks like, according to this package, it would actually come go on to this weapon here. So you can add on there. So it's that. So you can remove it. So we do have that. Um, here are those helmets. So these are just kind of like a goldish color visor there. Um, a little bit of like silver in there, but the rest is kind of green and black for the helmet. So looking at the two, we have the two different designs. I like the ones that come on the figure already more so than this secondary one, but it is a pretty good look. I like it, but definitely I like these ones a little bit more and we'll get in for a closer look at those uh, pretty soon. We get two jetpacks, count them two. So here is the jetpack and each jetpack is the exact same. There's no difference whatsoever between the two. Sculpted detail looks really good. We got the American flag in there. It says JPU81G-P. Um, I don't know what that is. You guys can let me know down in the comments below if that actually, you know, is a reference to something. It just pegs into uh, the back of the figure, so there is a peg hole in the back of the vest. Same with the female figures. It is, this again, the same exact jetpack. We just get two of them. Now, and I already have this one on there, so I can show you guys. There are a couple of uh, flame effects um, and there's four of each one. The, each one is the same, but there's four because you get two for each jetpack. Each one 
um, as you can see, it just ports right on into the little peg hole that's in there. Um, and they look pretty good. Just, you know, orange plastic there, semi-translucent with a lot of white for the smoke. And you can kind of see the smoke clad as it comes out of the jetpack. Now, the curve to them is, I would say, a little warped. But what's cool about them being slightly warped, you know, some are a little warped a little bit more than others. So you could take advantage of the warpness as you could, you know, if you're posing around, you got a flight stand, you kind of show them, you know, taking off, it can kind of have a curve to it. I thought that was, you know, a nice little touch. Definitely, it's just because of the way they get packed in there and it's just warped. But, you know, that's something you can do if that's what you want to do. So we have it there. Um, and then we get all these muzzle effects. And there's so many, there's so many, guys. There's this one here, as you could see uh, there. And there's even a little peg hole in the middle so you could do something like this so if we have one of the guns it would end up looking like that and that is pretty cool there so we get that is this the same one so this one looks like it's even longer so if you want to swap that out you can do this one here and that's even longer so that's pretty crazy um, but not only that, not only this one, we get this one here, and this one kind of has a little bit more of a spray. And this one, you can kind of see, I would say like on TV, you end up seeing this, you know, kind of thing a lot. Um, and then again, another peg at the end, at the end. So again, you can have it like firing off a distance like so. Again, with the other one that, uh, comes with it, you can do that there as well. And then we also get this next one. And you can see that that kind of has like a cone shape to it, the blast there, which is pretty crazy. So you just, you know, port that onto the end of the barrel there. And then the same thing, you could just peg these right on, right into the center there, and you can have it shooting off like that. So all, all kinds of crazy, crazy goodness. Uh, but there's even more. So we also have this one here. Um, and I don't know exactly how this one would kind of work, but you could do stuff like that. I'm not sure if I'm using the right gun for it there, but you know, that, that is an option there. Or am I doing that wrong? I don't know. I think I'm doing it right. You guys let me know in the comments below. Uh, we also get these nice little classic ones. So this one is more of a smoke as the smoke's coming off. I don't know why it's still got the orange translucent in there it's because it's completely painted over white for smoke so i'm not sure why they didn't just mold it in that plastic color kind of interesting um and then we got a couple more we're almost there guys almost there it's a lot we got this one here this one's translucent orange with the all white for the smoke there so that one's kind of good um and then we have this one this one's kind of like a smoke a spray or you know shooting you know as you're kind of shooting around or shooting this way you know, you can have that different look to it. Um, so, yeah, uh, a lot, a lot of accessories with this two pack. It, it is, it is pretty insane. So I know I, I've taken a lot of time just to kind of show you guys the accessories. But going back to it, uh, before we take a look at the figures, I just want to give a shout out to ToySnowman.com. They have this in stock. I got it from them. Uh, shipped out very quickly. I ordered it just a few days ago. It's Monday. It's already arrived here. It was like Thursday or something when I ordered it. And that's how quick it, it quickly it got here. So ToySnowman.com. They're based in Canada, but they ship to the U.S. Um, so make sure to check them out. They have all your action figure needs, whether it's Hasbro stuff or DC Multiverse, McFarlane Toys stuff or NECA import figures they have it all so toysnowman.com i'll link in the video description below it's my referral link so if you use that link uh create an account first time buyers you get a five percent off coupon code in your frost reward so make sure to check them out toysnowman.com now let's get in for the closer look at the steel core uh figures and again little guy but this one's really good Okay, so here's an up close look at the steel core figure in the helmet. I really, really like. It's got a dark green to it, a little bit of a gunmetal gun metal silver up there. Uh, the visor is black with a little bit of light blue. It kind of looks like a digital visor, which is pretty cool. A little bit of silver in front. I like the way it looks. Really, really like it. The female figure is the same head sculpt. As you can see, it is just a tad bit smaller, and she is shorter to, against a person uh, figure that is already fairly short. I think the back of the box says that the steel core male figure is 6.1 inches. The female is 5.9 inches, um, but it feels a little... Like a little guy, but anyway, looking at the front, we get this green vest, a little bit of black for 
the belts, um, things like that, grenade. Uh, the shoulders, I, I think, look funny, um, and I don't care for them. It's because they got the pat the padding that is additional on there. You can remove these if you want. As you can see, it's just on, there, on the arm there. So you could remove them. It, it ends up, I don't know, might look a little bit better. Um, let's see. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that looks better? I actually do think that looks better. The green, the blue and the green kind of clash. Like they got some ugly ass colors, but you know, it, it's just cause the, the shoulder, the shoulder armor just makes them look so much, so much larger. You know, they have to make it sure it's certain thickness. Um, so that's how it's, this is supposed to be. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it, to be honest with you. And I, I think it's actually uh, pretty good pretty good without so you guys let me know down in the comments below do you what do you think of the shoulder armor do you think they're just too big did you like it without i don't know let me know in the comments below but anyway the right shoulder we get some shotgun shells actually in there and then the left shoulder we see the steel core uh emblem there so it looks pretty good tan tan pants green uh knee pads uh black boots there we get this uh pouch here on his left leg the right leg has the holster for the handgun uh, we get these little rings here on the belt female figure has that as well uh, there's nothing that's going to clip onto there or anything like that i'm thinking you know is there a way like some of these guns or something can kind of clip on there uh, there's not anything so it's just nice that it's there in the sculpt and it's nice that it's painted but there's no actual function uh to it so again the knife sheath sheaths there in the front so that is the male figure we do get an additional head sculpt so check this out pop that off look at how long that ball peg is that's gonna get stressed the f I, that's gonna be bad like when you go to swap heads um be very careful because if you start stressing that plastic you can you can you know do damage and and destroy that peg so you want to be careful um and i'm and because you got to force the other helmet on there and i feel like it's not good and can stress the hell out of it. But here is the alternate helmet head sculpt. And it's pretty good. It's great. The sculpt detail of it is really nice. I just really like this one. You know? I like it. But this one is really good too. So you have your options there. So moving on to the female figure. Uh, we're essentially got the, the same thing going for it as the male figure. The shoulder armor is similar. Not... Not quite as large, but we get the same emblem there. There are no shotgun shells on the right uh, armor piece. There are some additional pouches there. Uh, we got single jointed uh, elbows on the female figure, unfortunately, uh, which is weird. We get pinless legs, though, uh, but, you know, single jointed elbows on the arms. So these arms are probably reused. I'm not sure what figure it's reused from. I'd have to go back and check. I'm not going to check, uh, but just know, unfortunately... Um, she gets single jointed elbows. Uh, the vest is essentially the same. It's just smaller to feed a female figure. Uh, the same thing. We got the holster on the right leg. We got the pouch on the left leg. Uh, green knee pads, black boots, although she does get green uh, shin armor there or kick pads or whatever they would be, I guess. Same thing. Got those hoops there on the belt, but no real function to them. Uh, peg hole in the back for... Uh, the the jetpacks. I will say on the female figure though, it's it's tight on that peg, and you really have to force it. And doing that kind of eats up at that peg and kind of warps it a little bit, as it doesn't really sit f as flush as it should. Like on the male figures, it fits um, a lot more flush on their back, so it's not so much an issue. Um, so you just kind of want to be mindful of that, as you can see, it goes all the way to the back. But anyway, there is the helmet, same as the other, but we can swap this one out. Uh, as you can see, we're on a dumbbell joint as opposed to um, a hinge or anything like that. And then we have the swappable head. I'm not too worried about that peg hole. It doesn't, you know, the, the, the peg isn't as long to where it's going to really warp or become stressed. Uh, but we have that helmet head sculpt there, and it looks pretty good. It's the same thing that we have um, on the female figure. It's just, you know, a little bit smaller in size. But I like it. I just don't like it as much. Same thing on the other one. I, pre I prefer the other head sculpt, but you guys let me know your thoughts below on which head sculpt you prefer. Okay, so we're going to go through the articulation. I'm going to try and get through this quickly since we do have uh, two figures to look at. So the, the neck is on a separate joint, so you can kind of get some um, circular motion in that neck. There is a hinge as well so you can get the steel core figure to look all the way up you can get it to look all the way down again it's got a really long peg 
be very careful with that. You get a full rotation. Uh, the neck is turning. The head doesn't w seem to want to turn on that ball joint. I guess it's a little bit too tight of a fit. So it just swivels actually at the neck. You can't actually really get any pivot going on in there um, either. The arm, you can get to go straight on out. You just kind of have to move the shoulder a little bit, the shoulder armor a little bit. Uh, full rotation in there. There is the butterfly joint, so you can get the arm to go back a decent amount. Crossbody isn't going to really help because you have the overlay uh, vest, unfortunately. We've got the upper bicep sw swivel, double jointed elbow. It is pinned because, again, this is a beachhead uh, upper body that we had seen the Target exclusive back before it fully went pinless. Uh, the hands swivel. They both have trigger finger hands on the right and left. Uh, vertical hinge on both of them since they are wielding guns. Uh, so it's nice that we have that for the, the left. The right does have a ho standard horizontal hinge, however. Um, we'll get to the female figures in a bit. There is an ab crunch on this guy. The overlay, you're not really going to be able to take advantage of it so much. Even going back, not really. But that's really just the, sh the ball joint at the waist that's really doing the heavy lifting there and making that work. Get a swivel at that ball joint. Um, tilt... Uh, there's not really a whole lot of tilt. You can't. You you have to really work it, but it's not a lot. But be, because we have the drop down hips, as you can see there, you can with the hips you can kind of get some of that tilt going on in there. But you can drop down the legs quite a bit. You do the full splits with them like that. Can't kick forward uh, quite far. Upper thigh cut in there. Double jointed knee. It is not pinless. There are pins again reused from the Snake Eyes, uh, the the first Snake Eyes figure. Uh, so double jointed knee there. We do have the boot swivel in there. So swivel up the boot. Foot hinges down. We get some hinge up. Ankle pivot peckles at the bottom of the feet. So that is the male steel core figure. Here with the female figure. Uh, no uh, hinge at the neck. So getting her to look up up and down is not going to be as much since it doesn't really move around. Now the neck piece can move in there a little bit. To Oops. Focus in there. So the, the neck can move a little bit. So when you adjust the neck and adjust the head, you can get her to look uh, down. But up is definitely a little bit trickier, unfortunately. Full rotation in that head, and you can get some good pivot, actually, with this head sculpt in there. Now the arm, you can get the arm to go up, but the shoulder armor definitely gets in the way on this one. You just have to move that armor down a little bit, and it seems like it's still a little tricky getting that arm to go up and I can see I'm stretch stressing some of that plastic so you want to be careful there uh, full rotation in that arm there is a butterfly joint so you can go back a little bit going cross body front is not going to really do a whole lot there is no bicep swivel since we have a swivel at the elbow because it is single joint so you get the bend you get uh, just about 90 degree bend at that elbow uh, wrist swivel, uh, vertical hinge on the left hand, uh, vertical hinge on the right hand. Why the male figure has one horizontal, one vertical, I am not sure. Uh, we have a ball joint and an ab crunch in there. Is there an ab crunch in there? You can't remove these vests. You would have to cut them off. And I'm trying to see... Is that an ab or is that like a diaphragm? That might be like a diaphragm. So she could tilt to her left quite a bit. She could tilt to her right uh, quite a bit. She can go back only so far. She can come forward, not very much because the the rubber overlay on the vest. You get a swivel at that upper diaphragm. You also have a swivel at that waist uh, as well. We do get the drop down hips, same thing on this figure. Down, up, down, up. Legs go out that far apart. She can kick forward that far which is good the leg goes back a little bit when you have the drop down hip in there you got an upper thigh cut in there uh double jointed pinless knees so she does have pinless knees um technically the elbow would be pinless but there's only one joint there it's, so doesn't really count uh swivel at the boot foot hinges down S not really any hinge up because that shin guard that's in there the top of the foot really hits it but you have ankle pivot peg holes at the bottom of the feet so i think the female figure um is pretty good uh, i like the way it looks you got to really work the drop down hips a little bit um i think it ends up looking better overall compared to the male figure and again i think that the problem is the, the colors a little bit there's a lot more blue on the male figure since he doesn't have the, the gauntlet pieces um, like the female figure does and then the the shoulder armor is just so large and it looks kind of funky, but um, they look really good together. You can build out an army, mix and match the different helmet pieces. Remove those shoulder armors if that's what you wanted to do. You can take them off the female figure as well. So you can give a bunch of different looks um, to build out your army however you want to do it.
Okay, so as promised, we have the Steel Brigade figure. So I don't know the full history as far as what's going on with Action Force and all this and that. My understanding is that in the UK, the G.I. Joe name was not used, but Action Force was used. Hasbro did not re-register the trademark or whatever it was. Uh, Valiverse, Bobby Valley, he picked it up, created an action figure line, uh, which seems to be doing really well. I really only know the Steel Brigade figures um, that are really good, really happy with. And then here, if you compare it to the Steel Core figures, um, in my opinion, there's no contest. The Action Force, the Valiverse Action Force Steel Brigade figure is leaps and bounds better than the G.I. Joe Classified Series version. Um, in terms of articulation, I think Hasbro is going to win in, in that aspect but in terms of like aesthetic and how it looks and everything like that you i think you just you have to give it to the steel brigade figure the the action force because it just looks so much cooler than this guy does he this guy unfortunately he doesn't really look cool because he's kind of a little guy right it's not as intimidating that's not really it yes it's short but the shoulders they just look so weird and again yes you can remove them um sure you know what i'll go ahead and do that again um you can remove them, and that helps a little bit, um, but I think I think the Steel Brigade Action Force figure still looks better. I mean, the helmets, I really like the helmets, but maybe it's just because they're really wide. It looks a little funny to me. Um, maybe that's what it is, but in my opinion, the Action Force uh, Steel Brigade figure uh, looks better. Um, and is probably the better figure. But again, this Steel Core pack is loaded with accessories, but there's a bunch of accessories for Action Force. You could buy like accessory packs and all of that stuff too. And they have, I, they did like the muzzle flare stuff first, not Hasbro. I, Hasbro probably copied that for all we know. Um, maybe it would have come eventually. Who really knows? Um, they probably copied it. They saw that it was working. I'm like, hey, that's a great idea. Let's do it. And then they did it. Uh, but you guys let me know in the comments below what do you which figure do you think looks better the Hasbro Steel Core or the Valiverse Action Force Steel Brigade um again my money is on the Steel Brigade I'm not taken away from the Steel Core that it's a pretty good two pack uh but this just everything about it just looks better in my opinion so actually having these three figures side by side, the Televiper, the Commando Snake Eyes, it doesn't look terrible in terms of the height for the Steel Brigade figure, but yes, he is absolutely shoulder, shorter, like he, he just is, and as you can see there, his shoulders are significantly lower, the helmet makes puts him almost at the same height, but it's just, it's still really, like, really, really small. Like, really small. And I'm looking at the Snake Eyes. The Snake Eyes actually uses the same arms um, for uh, the figure, but the pants are different. This is the Commando Snake Eyes. He had the bigger, uh, longer legs, whereas this one, you know, was more of the Ninja um, first release of Snake Eyes. So, you know, shorter legs. But, you know, the Snake Eyes definitely is taller. The shoulders stand just a little bit higher up. Um, but you know either the neck piece and the torso piece just make them taller but steel core you guys let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on this two pack uh, again i still think it's pretty good out of the two i think the female figure is actually better than the male figure it looks better overall but hey removing those shoulder pads those the, the shoulder armor um, i think makes it look more proportionately accurate because you don't have the big ass you know, armor pieces there just sticking out like a sore, th uh, sore thumb. But you guys let me know the com in the comments below what do you think of this Steel Core uh, figure 2-pack. And again, I got mine from ToySnowman.com. Link in the video description below. Should be in stock um, for you guys to pick up if you, if you want them. You guys let me know. Uh, if you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that join button and become a channel member. Be a part of the MCU Collective. Show support for the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. And as always, thank you for watching.